Hey guys, Joe Richardson here, real estate investor and realtor based on the Raleigh Durham area of North Carolina. You've probably seen this viral video of prospective home buyers waiting to view and buy a home on his first day on the market. This video was shot by a fellow realtor, Monique Edwards, when she was there with her buyers. This video illustrates how crazy the current real estate market is in our area, where there's a limited number of homes for sale, an increasing number of buyers looking for homes, and it's just a crazy with new construction. And unfortunately, build, many builders are taking advantage of this competitive market. Here are 11 things to know with builders in the current real estate market. Number one, builders don't like buyers with agents. Most builder reps will tell you otherwise, but if they had a choice, they would prefer that a buyer not have their own representation or a real estate agent. Most home buyers are not that experienced, especially with the building process, and must rely on what the builder rep tells them. I'm not saying that the builder reps are looking to cheat buyers or are dishonest, but it's common for builders to use sales agents that aren't licensed or are members of the board of realtors. They don't have to follow the same code of ethics that a realtor is required to do. When the buyer shows up to view a model in the information exchange, the buyer or the buyer makes first contact with a builder and they're not with their real estate agent, the builder rep will tell you after the fact that their agent was not the procuring cause and they will not work with your real estate agent. An experienced realtor will guide you through the process, let you know if something doesn't sound or look right. Not all buyers will need a real estate agent, especially those that are really experienced with new construction in the home buying process. But sometimes it's good to have a professional around to consult with when you, when you do have questions. Buyers should have the real estate agent make first contact with builder reps. Number two, builders stop paying commission. This is a continuation of the first one. With the competitive market, there's really no need for builders to offer commissions to real estate agents to bring in buyers. Some builders have stopped offering commission altogether. Other builders are offering commission, but at a reduced amount or at a fixed rate. If the builder is not offering commission and the buyer still wants to have their real estate agent assist them, then that buyer and agent will need to discuss the agent's fee. Number three, the cost has gone up significantly. Due to the pandemic and logistical issues, the cost of construction has increased significantly over these past couple of years. The cost of lumber, drywall, windows, and a good number of supplies and material are a thousand times more expensive than they were before the pandemic. And unfortunately, this increased cost is passing on to the home buyer. In some cases, builders are requesting buyers to cover the difference in cost when they are already under contract and while the home is being built. I'm sorry to say if the buyer is unable to cover the increased cost, builders can cancel the contract and resell the house at a higher price, which leads me to number four, builders use their own contracts. It is common for builders to use their contracts with home buyers. And again, unfortunately, these contracts are drafted to the builder's advantage. For example, there are clauses that allow a builder to increase the purchase price for unexpected construction costs, or they can change the design of the house without the buyer's approval, or they can extend the construction timeline as needed. Rarely will they allow the contracts to be revised, and when there are disputes, they will refer to the contract, which we know are already drafted in their favor. If a buyer has an issue with the contract and refuses to sign, the builder knows that there's another buyer out there. Number five, deposits are a lot higher now. In the normal market, it was common to see deposits as low as $1,000 to be paid once under contract with new construction. However, now builders are requiring deposits to be as much as five to 15% of the purchase price. So for $300,000, deposit may be as much as 15 to $45,000. Depending on how far along the house is, deposit is not refundable after a certain point with construction. Number six, construction can take as long as two years. Before the pandemic, it took about four to six months to build a house once a lot has been released. Now due to logistical issues and staffing shortages, average build time is about one year and can, and can take as long as two years to compete. In the builder's contract, there's a clause that allows the builder to two years or longer to finish construction without any penalties. Number seven, all homes are built to spec with little to no customization. To help the ease of long construction times and, uh, un and unexpected costs, builders are now building their homes to spec, meaning that they have already picked out the floor plans, design, and finishes of the house before construction has even started. This helps the builder plan out the build and the budget. However, buyers are not given the opportunity or chance to customize or are able to pick out their finishes until the house is complete. Then they're on their own to do their own renovations once they close on the house. 
Unless buyers are willing to pay for customization, wait through the delays, and pay a sizable deposits, spec-built spec homes will be the norm for the foreseeable future. Number eight, builders are taking highest and best offers. In the past, when the lot was released in a new community, it was first come, first served for buyers to put a deposit down and go under contract. During the pandemic, it got to a point where buyers were camping outside a builder's sales office to be the first to purchase a lot once it was released, much like how folks would camp outside a store for, for Black Friday shopping. Now, when lots were released, instead of the first come, first serve, buyers would have to bid against each other and the builder will take the highest and best offer for each lot. Number nine, buyers are required to be pre-approved with the builder's lender. Even if a buyer has already been qualified with their bank or with a lender, builders are making it a requirement for buyers to get pre-approved with their own lender prior to going on a contract or even setting up an appointment to meet with the builder. In my opinion, this is possibly a conflict of interest in that we don't know if the builder or lender is sharing your confidential information with the builder, which most likely is what they're doing. And that lender won't have your best interest if an issue does come up. Some builders are quick to cancel a contract if an issue does come up and the buyer is not using the preferred lender. Again, they are quick to cancel because they know they can turn around and resell the house in the current market. Number 10, buyers must use the builder's closing attorney or, or title company. Even before the pandemic, it was common for buyers to use the builder's closing attorney in new construction. The builder did allow the buyer an option to use a different closing attorney, but they would also provide an incentive or credit that would that only makes sense to use their attorney. Now, buyers do not have an option and must use the builder's closing attorney regardless. Builders are requiring this because it helps them control the process and scheduling. However, buyers should be aware that if an issue or conflict comes up, they would need to get their own legal representation and that they can't go to the builder's attorney for legal advice. And number 11, buyers should still get inspections done on new construction. Even more so in the current market, if a buyer can afford it, they should get a third party independent inspection of the house during the pre-drawwall phase and after the home is complete, but before closing. Unfortunately, some builders may cut corners to save costs and do the minimum to pass the county or city inspections. An independent inspector will have the buyer's best interest and may discover something that was missed by the builder or county inspectors. The builder may tell buyers that a independent inspection is not required because it really isn't required, but a realtor will strongly suggest it anyway, which is another reason why builders don't like it when buyers have their own real estate agent. So those are 11 things that buyers should know with builders in the current market. It's going to be a challenge whether you're looking to build or buy a resale home but, but do you know that the dream of home ownership is still achievable? You may have to work a little bit harder, but in my opinion, the best way to gain wealth is through owning real estate. So my advice to you, hire and work with an experienced realtor and you're on your way of being a homeowner. Let me know if you have any questions and comment below and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.